Okay, we start off with some parkour. Let's do this. Nope. What? I stepped on the block I'm supposed to jump on and it kills me? Welcome back guys, my name is Mr. Me as always, and today I am playing Minecraft 1.10.2 for the sole purpose of showing you a tutorial on how you can make any kind of block within the game kill you as soon as you step on it. Now, about both the taskbar and the title bar being visible in the frame, Shadow Play does not like it when I try to record Minecraft in full screen for X, Y, or Z reason, don't ask me. But it doesn't like it, and it doesn't record it at all, so I have to use a maximized window. I apologize for that, I don't know if I can fix it or not. But anyway, in order to get started with this tutorial, you have to know a couple things. For one, what kind of block you want to kill you, or kill the player, I mean, what, you know. What kind of block do you want to kill the player, and can you get the command block itself? You can only get command blocks if the following condition is set. I should get rid of this. Um, you have to be in a single player world with cheats enabled like this one. Or you can be on a server and have an operator status which lets you be able to access command blocks. If you're in, say you're just in a single player world with cheats. You have to give yourself a command block because stuff like this does not work in the chat room. So, to give yourself a command block, do slash give at player, or at yourself, minecraft command underscore block, because six command blocks isn't enough, you know? You can never have too much power. So place the block anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter. Even if the command block goes out of your chunks that are loaded, the, the effect will still work as far if I tested it right. So open up the command block and type in this command. Execute at p three squiggly lines detect. Then this pair of coordinates tells you, or tells the command block, where in relation to the player is the block in question. In this place, the block in question will be the block that the player will stand on, which will give them this effect, killing them. You know, because you know blocks are murderers, people. And the block in question is cobblestone. Now the zero is because cobblestone is we're using the original variants of cobblestone and plus cobblestone has no variant anyway so in order to make this work change the command block from impulse to repeat and needs redstone to always active now either find some cobblestone in your world or place some because you're probably making a map with this that involves a lot of cobblestone or whatever block you use and to test to see if it works get on top of it see you die when you touch the cobblestone. Now, it'll work with any block. It does not have to be just cobblestone. It could be any block at all. You can even have it to where, say, red hardened clay will kill you. So instead of having cobblestone zero, type in, not, okay, not red, stained underscore hardened underscore clay. And you can find out the variant number and the actual ID of the block itself if you push F3 plus H on your keyboard, which shows you advanced tooltips for items that you hover over in your inventory. So, from my knowledge, stained hardened clay for the red variant is 14. So, type in 14 instead of a zero and accept it. Now, find some red hardened clay, like go to a mesa biome or, you know, since you're probably again making a map, place them. Now again, just get on top of the block. Boom! You're dead. Simple as that. Now this can be with any block, it does not have to be clay or stone. It can be glowstone, iron blocks. It could even be, you could even have it to where a command block will kill you if you stand on it. But you can have, it, it, you can't it is not like you can only have one command block that will kill you if you stand on the block that it's specified. You could have multiple command blocks. Like say, say you want both red stained clay and cobblestone to kill you. See, red stained clay. Well, I um, 
I almost forgot to change that to repeat and always active. That would have been terrible. Okay, so now, red stained clay and cobblestone will both kill you. See, the now the cobblestone will kill you as soon as I get back up there. And now, red stained clay will also still kill you. It can be, you can even make this with non-solid blocks like cobwebs and grass and the like. But just for the sake of this, I'm using red stained clay and cobblestone. And this map is the parkour map that I started, uh, probably like in 1.6, maybe, maybe 1.5, probably 1.6 if I remember right. And, you know, the checkpoint system was still based on beds, I hadn't discovered command blocks yet. <laughs> so, I changed that and I'm thinking of doing something with this kind of stuff to the map in the coming days or whatever but that is how you can make in Minecraft 1.9 and 1.10 and probably 1.11 and 1.12 and 1.57 later on that's how you can make it to where certain blocks will kill the player if they step on them in those Minecraft versions so I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can utilize it in your own maps and thank you guys for watching and I will see you later Goodbye. Feed my nipples! You're playing Matt? Get Feed my nipples! Oh, so my current score is 420 Blazer. <laughs> that would show you... Damn it. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> cobblestone.